guys in the last video we set up our application and all its dependencies we set up the app JS file which has all the middleware and so on so make sure you get that done and now what we'll do is start to set up our views alright so inside the views folder we're gonna create a new file and save it as index dot uh, EJS for embedded JavaScript okay so that'll be basically our home page or our dashboard all right, we're also going to create a file called login.ejs and register.ejs. And let's create a folder inside the views folder called includes. And then inside there, we're just going to have a header.ejs and a footer. Okay, so we can get the file creation out of the way and I'm just going to close those for now all right so one by one let's open up index EJS I'm just going to say index page and let's go to index JS which is in the routes folder and we're going to change this from res send to res render index Okay, so now if we go and reload, you can see we get the index page. Okay, same thing with the other, uh, with the user's routes. I'm going to change this to render, login, and register. All right, so we should now be able to render Uh, whoops, it should be users. Uh, let's see, that should be... Oh, I didn't add anything to it. Okay, reload, there we go. Register, there we go. All right. So now that we have those, let's start to build our interface. Okay, we're going to be using Bootstrap. So let's go to getbootstrap.com. And let's see, we want to first add our header code. So in header EJS inside includes, uh, I'm just going to switch this to HTML. Okay, we'll put some standard HTML tags. I'm going to get rid of the ending body in HTML tags because those are going to go on the footer. All right, and then title, we'll say passport app. Okay, and let's save that. And then in the footer, we're going to have the body and HTML end tags. Close that up. All right, now for Bootstrap, we installed Bootstrap using NPM. So what we're going to do is go to our app.js file right under where we put the static folder. And we want to set a static path for the bootstrap CSS file. All right, so this is pretty easy. We're just going to say app.use. And let's pass in slash CSS. And then we want express.static. And pass into there underscore double underscore dir name. And then the path to the bootstrap CSS file, which is slash node modules slash bootstrap slash dist slash CSS. All right, so we'll save that. And now we should be able to go to our header.ejs and say link rel style sheet and then point to um, point to slash CSS bootstrap dot min dot CSS all right so we'll save that now the font should change uh, let's see we get an error all right let me make sure Make sure it's not a syntax error. 
Oh, yeah, this shouldn't be a comma. This should actually be a plus sign because we're concatenating that. All right, so save that. And, oh, we need to include the header in our index, actually in all of our views. So right up here, we're going to put in less than percent hyphen and then include include slash header okay so that's the header we also want the footer at the bottom all right and let's do that in the login page as well as the register. Okay, so now you can see the fonts change. So Bootstrap is now working. Now let's go to get Bootstrap. And if we go to getting started and then examples, you'll see that there is a login template right here, a sign in page. Let's click that and then control U now this has its own CSS file in addition to bootstrap right here sign in .css. so what I'm gonna do is click that we're gonna grab this and we're gonna create a custom CSS file okay so let's create a folder called public and inside public whoops we wanna create another folder called CSS and then inside there we'll create a file paste in that code and save it as style.css. All right, and then we just have to add that to the header. All right, and then we'll go back to that template source code and we're gonna grab from this container to the ending container div. Okay, we'll copy that. Let's go to login EJS and paste that in right here. Okay, we'll save it. And if we go to our front end to the login page, should look like that. All right, now for some reason the background isn't changing. If yours is still white like that and you want it to be gray, just go to the style CSS and just add important right here. Okay, for some reason that needs important to, to actually show the gray. All right, so let's change this markup a little bit inside the login. First thing I'm going to do is the title here, please sign in. I'm going to change that to user login, and I want it um, aligned in the center, so I'm going to add the class text center, which is a bootstrap class. Okay, now we're not using an email address to log in. We're going to have a username, so let's change this here to username. And let's see, we can get rid of the ID. Actually, what we're going to do is change it to a name attribute. And that'll be username. Placeholder, we can also change that. And now we have password. And we can get rid of these four attributes, too. I just want to cut this down as much as we can. Okay, so password, that's good. This will be name, password. Okay, this checkbox, we don't need it. This whole div right here. I'm going to change this to HTML. All right, so that, that looks good. Let's put a line break right here. And let's save that. All right, so that looks good. Now, we want uh, a, a link here to go to the register page. Uh, if the, if the person ha doesn't have an account, they need a way to go to the register page. So we're gonna go right above the button and we'll put in a paragraph. And let's say no account.
and that's going to go to slash users slash register. All right. So that looks good. Let's click register. That goes to the reg page. Now what I'm going to do is copy this whole thing that we just did and go to register EJS and paste that in there. Okay, let's start at the heading here. We'll change this to we'll say user registration. All right, and let's see. We're going to copy from the label to the BR and let's paste that right here and then another one under it. This first one is going to be name. Type will be text. Name will be name. Uh, actually, you know what? That should be text here for both of these as well. Okay, on the login page too. Let's change that. All right. All right, so we have our name. We'll change the placeholder to name. This next one will be email. Okay, so we get name, email, username, password, and then we want password two. Okay, name will be password two. Placeholder will say password confirm. All right, and then this this um, paragraph is going to say. Uh, we'll say have account and then this will be login and we'll change this to login that way we can switch back and forth all right so there's our registration so we can switch back and forth from those two pages okay now for the index page we're going to go back to get bootstrap and for the examples, we're going to go to this right here, starter template, and do a control U. And we're just going to grab from this nav tag down to the container. All right, and we'll go into views, index, and paste that in. All right, we're going to change a couple things. We're going to get rid of the nav bar fix top class. We're going to change the project name to passport app okay for the list items here I'm going to get rid of these two and then change home to log out and get rid of the active class and we might as well add the link here which will be users slash log out and let's see I think that's that's good actually this UL right here I'm just going to add a class nav bar right so that it floats to the right and then down here we'll change this h1 we'll just say members area all right so we'll save that let's take a look now we have this space at the top that's because if we go to our style css we have body and we have padding top and bottom 40 pixels. Let's go ahead and cut that out. And we're going to just put that in. Um, actually, let's keep that out and see what the other pages look like. Okay, and that fixes that. But if we go to users login, I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's good. All right, so now we have our three pages. We have the UI done as far as how it looks. In the next video, we're going to take care of the user registration. Okay, we want to be able to submit all these fields and we want them to validate and then submit the user. All right, so I will see you in the next video.